Hello. In the last class, we saw how to install R and R Studio, and in this video, we will do some hands-on R. We will start uh, writing expressions in R. We will do some arithmetic operations, and also um, we will see some basic uh, functions. And so let's get started. First thing uh, we will see is how to comment. In order to make a comment in R or tell R that uh, this is a comment, we use, we use the hash symbol and anything after the hash uh, is um, considered as a comment. So say this is a comment. Um, the moment R sees hash, it considers whatever is there uh, given after the hash is considered as a comment. So, this is a command. We will start with writing some um, expressions to perform addition and say 10 plus 10 plus 5, 15 plus 30. Okay, let's do some subtraction and 15 minus. 5, 10, that's what we expected. Let's mix the expressions 10 plus 5 plus 10 minus 30. Okay, pretty simple. Works like a calculator. Um, we can also um, assign um, the values to uh, um, object. So Say for example, I want to assign some value to object x. I want to say x equals 2. Now notice here that we can use this, this equal sign as an operator, assignment operator. We can also say less than the dash uh, symbol as operator. And so this works the same. Let's introduce another object here and say y equals 3 and we will add the two objects x plus y and assign it to z. Notice that here I put a dash and the greater than symbol. The symbol points to z. That means that whatever is the outcome of x plus y is pointing to z it's equivalent to saying 2 should be assigned to x and it's pointing to x so wherever the pointer and the direction of the pointer is the value is going to assign to in that direction to the object and if we print c we see 5 we could have written the the same thing in this way x plus y it would give us the same results so far so good next we will do some division okay 5 by 2 2.5 0 by 10 0 10 by 0 is infinity inf is infinity to check what inf is we can uh, use the help function and type inf and it will take to a page where it talks about infinity and here we have all the details uh, we can go through uh, the uh, documentation and understand better we can also use uh, question mark followed by inf and it will do the same it will uh, bring out the uh, help documentation and uh, we can go through the details whatever we want okay next we have um, we can also have minus 10 by 0 it will give us a negative infinity it's the same um, concept but a negative infinity this time uh, let's try out 0 by 0 it gives n a n it's not a number again if we want to uh, know more about n a n we can um, we can type question mark followed by NAN and it will bring out the help documentation. Okay, um, we can also do uh, trigonometric operations using 
uh, trigonometric functions like sine say sine function uh, on 45 will give us the value cos function on 45 okay and so on uh, we can uh, find the square say 2 power 2 4 say we want cube 2 power 3 8 at any point we want to clear the screen we can use uh, command alt l and the screen will be cleared this is a shortcut for clearing the screen say we want to use the um, we found we want to find the square root and so for that we use the sqrt function it gives the square root we can also use uh, functions uh, such as log natural log on 200 okay uh, if I want to use log base 10 I can put log base 10 200 I can also use log base 2 200 uh, we can also define the uh, base in the following fashion base equals 2 okay we can also find the anti-log or exponential by using the exp function so say exp of 7.64 okay then we can also use a abs absolute function to find the absolute value say minus 21 gives 21 we can use the round function to uh, round the values to a given uh, by a given number 2.5333 say I want to round it, round it to two decimals and it will give me 2.53 R also has inbuilt constants such as um, pi if I write pi here it will give the value of uh, pi to us we can also uh, do some uh, logical operations say we want to check if 2 equals 2 it would give me as true or say 2 equals 3 in this case it should return false and yes it returns false so this was uh, pretty much about um, introduction um, or introduction of R and using some basic arithmetic operations in the next class we will work out um, uh, vectors. I hope this video was useful. Thanks.